What's going on everyone? Steven here. In this video we're going to create a Crack Me in Rust using GPT and then we're going to solve that Crack Me in X64 debug. So here I'm in Visual Studio Code and I have a nifty extension installed called Rubber Duck which integrates GPT into VS Code. It's amazing. Go get it. Play around with it. It's just the bomb so anyway all right so first thing I'm gonna do is cargo new GPT crack me CD GPT crack me all right and then here I'm going to open main.rs this is where we will copy the code to save it and run it and then build a release build uh, okay so first thing we're gonna go to rubber duck here I'm gonna click the magic wand and this is where you tell GPT what you want. So let's say, please create a crack me uh, in Rust that asks the user to correctly guess a value. That's a hard coded string. All right, and then we'll say, do not encrypt, do not encrypt the string and I have to specify that because I've been playing around with this and if you don't specify that it has a tendency to just go out and get whatever necessary crate to encrypt the string that's in the application which is very interesting but it has the user guess the like encrypted version of the string <laughs> so anyway and uh, we'll say no crates should be used and if the user guesses incorrectly, loop the program until they guess correctly. All right, let's see what we get here. Generate. All right, so we've got our main here. It says secret string is secret. Uh, we have this mutable variable as string new, which is set up for the user's input guess the string if the trimmed guess is equal to secret string then you guessed correctly and break out of the loop else incorrect guess try again and then guess dot clear I guess clear is kind of like a, a cleanup uh, in rust so yeah this looks pretty cool let's copy this all right we'll paste it here and close this don't save all right we'll save this and then we'll go uh, cargo run just to try it out all right guess the string we'll say ASDF incorrect try again FDSA incorrect try again let's try secret as the word you guessed correctly okay so this seems very straightforward like a very beginner crack me but let's build this now and take a look at it in x64 debug cargo build release all right and then we'll right click here and we'll say reveal and file explorer target release and here we have the executable so let's minimize vs code um, I'm just gonna drag this out of the folder so we don't have our symbol information that gets loaded um, so I'm gonna right click and go show more and debug with x64 debug Okay, so I'm going to hit run until we get to here. And now we see guess the secret string. Okay, so I'm just going to start off like every basic crack me and go search for current module string references. And here we can see guess the secret string and correct guess try again. You guessed correctly. But interestingly, that means our secret string of secret is not here so where is it what did Rust do when it compiled this all right let's actually go to incorrect guess I have the this is running in a VM and I have the resolution cranked up so hopefully you can see it a lot better in the video um, so that means things are a little squished here but that's all right okay so we have incorrect guess try again and you know as you look through here you'll see that there's like this setup that happens and guess the secret string is loaded into r15 
and you have all this other stuff being loaded in and then you have incorrect guess being loaded into R13 um, and then you have a bunch of stuff happening so this interestingly is not like in a place that looks like it's in that flow of execution where it's right near the correct or incorrect block you know um, so anyway let's look at the you guessed correctly and we'll start here I'm gonna right click on this and go analysis and analyze module just gives you these nice sort of inline you know in addition to these out here you can kind of follow it inside of here where you wouldn't be able to out here okay so anyway all right so we have this you guessed correctly and that comes from here jump if equal okay so we have whatever this or is doing and we have an immediate being compared to eax here or not compared but xor uh, all this other stuff we have this jump if not equal which goes to here past our jump if equal all right and as that flows we see there's a call and then we have a jump here that jumps back up to here all right and jump if not equal yeah it looks like that's around our setup for the loop okay so let's go back to this point here where we have the you guessed correctly all right so interestingly you know if you've done enough of these you know that people typically tend to state an explicit uh, check for if the length of the user input is the same or is not the same as what the secret phrase is you know they'll check the length of that input and if it's not the same as the length of the actual phrase then kick them out <laughs> right um, we didn't specify that in our code but yet right here that's exactly what's happening so it's like rust understood that the length of the hard-coded string is six and it put that immediate there and it's comparing against RDX which is presumably the length of our entered string right so we're kind of building up an idea of what this is doing so if those aren't the same we take this jump if not equal which takes us all the way down to this jump just before you guessed correctly and it kicks us back right okay so this is probably already looking a little bit different if you've done some sort of beginner to intermediate crack me's lately <laughs> um, but yeah nothing like too terribly complicated all right so jump if not equal let's just assume it's equal the lengths are the same you know and we could test that by placing a breakpoint here entering less than six and see if we hit that breakpoint if we don't then we know you know we're jumping over and not hitting that breakpoint okay uh, but interestingly we have between here and here this bit of code so we want to understand what's going on in here all right so we can uh, right click and breakpoint toggle and we will enter ASDF AS enter all right so we got past that comparison all right and now we're here so we are moving four bytes a D word uh, from the address being referenced in RAX okay into ECX and then we're XORing that with whatever is in the lower half of R12 which is these four bytes okay so if we step over there uh, we can see here ECX has this value um, and if we go back up to here to RAX okay what we can do like you know I like to double click on a register and if I see what doesn't look like an address but rather two like values being compared here in the expression I'm gonna enter this six 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 four 
7361. Whoops, that's not what I want. I wanted it in bytes, right? No, I do want the expression. Oh, I gotta hit numlock. Okay, 6664. Uh, 7361, 7361. Okay, look, FDSA, all right? So that's either an Indianness thing where it's actually ASDF, which we know that's what it is, um, or it could be something else. But in this case, you know, we're seeing it in, I can never remember the difference between little Indian and big Indian. I think this is big Indian. <laughs> anyway, okay. So we're seeing what we entered here, okay? And now we can enter this 7263, uh, 6573, all right? And we see S-E-C-R. We know the word is secret, okay? So this is another thing, like for beginners who don't necessarily know about Indianness yet this might not mean anything if they're trying to read it forward as it's populating here, right? So uh, anyway, we can see that this is apparently building up the secret word, okay? So that's already in like R12D, but interestingly, it compares that there. Let's uh, cancel this, okay? Let's step over, okay? And now we can double click on here because we have REX plus four. REX is that address. We can see what that is here. We can double click here and follow it in the dump. If we go up here, we can see ASDFAS, which is our, what we entered, right? So REX plus four, it's going plus four from REX, which lands us on our last two little characters there. Uh, it's gonna zero extend that value. So we, load that into EAX and then interestingly we compare against an immediate right here <laughs> instead of um, you know having like R12 contain the rest of that secret phrase right it's pretty interesting so if we double click here we can see the AS that's our last entered characters, but if we enter 7465 here, ET, so that's the last two of secret, right? So then we step over here, we get to this OR, and this is going to OR the result of uh, EAX and ECX, right? So. If these are both zero from the XOR, then that should set the zero flag, all right? And if they're not the same, which they are not, then the zero flag will not be set, right? Well, let's go ahead and modify value here. Zero, 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 okay. And then we're gonna modify uh, ECX to be all zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll say okay. All right. So now when this OR instruction executes, we should see the zero flag get set here. Step over, and there we go. The zero flag is set, which should hopefully, if we hit play, even though we didn't enter the correct string, we should get the, you know, you guessed correctly, which will probably make the application close out. So if we step over, we take that jump, we get here to you guessed correctly. Okay, that's not printed out yet. Let's just step over and we get to this call to what looks like print. We'll step over that and you guessed correctly is here. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to waste uh, any of your time like with too much follow-up here. We got in GPT, we had to create a crack me for us, and we did the crack me and saw some interesting ways that Rust decides to compile what is seemingly a very basic bit of code uh, to where this would presumably confuse a lot of uh, 
you know, beginners who are maybe even brushing up to that intermediate level, perhaps. But anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it around. Make sure you check out guidedhacking.com because if you want to get like amazing at all this stuff, it's a seriously great resource. So, uh, yeah, make sure you go check out the site. But anyway, thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Take care.